Hello humans! Welcome to Fangirl Friday, the series where I talk about books, movies and other things that I like to fangirl over. Today I'm going to be doing a book review and I haven't done one of these in a really long time which is kind of stupid because that's kind of the reason that I started doing YouTube but um that's not the way things worked and here we are today. <laughs> The book I'm going to be reviewing today is After Eden by Helen Douglas. This one was actually really cool. I didn't know what to expect from this. I thought it was kind of going to be a bit odd. I wasn't sure if it was going to be, you know, he was going to be a robot or something. I didn't know what was going to happen. But it was actually a really excellent book. So After Eden is about a girl named Eden, obviously. And she is basically a normal teenage girl. She has a couple of friends, doesn't have heaps of friends. And she's just kind of getting through life. She's about to finish school. She's like a senior year of high school is that what you call it in america i don't know in australia we would say she was in grade 12 but i don't that's might not make sense to some of you but basically what happens is this guy rocks up his name is ryan and i'm pretty sure he's blonde which is funny because i know a blonde head ryan and there's also another book that i'm in love with that has blonde head ryan so blonde head ryan's are just abundant in the world that i live in which is great good for blonde head ryan's Throughout the course of the story, however, it appears that this blonde haired Ryan is not exactly normal in any way, shape, or form. He, dun dun dun, is from the future! Whoa! Yeah, it's that kind of book. It's time travel, which I wasn't expecting. It is later revealed that Ryan has actually come from the future along with his sister and his dad, which are just people from the future. It's basically revealed that they have come back to stop Connor, Eden's best dude friend who loves astronomy, from discovering a planet, which doesn't make sense in the beginning. But it then turns out that the planet is actually poisonous and people are living there, but it's killed Earth because of transport and the dirt and it's not good on Earth and all this stuff has happened. So they've come to stop Connor, which crushes Eden because she's then like, Ryan, you're only pretending to love me because you want to get closer to Connor. And he's like, that was the original plan, but then I fell in love with you. She was like, this is the most cliche thing that's ever happened in anything because it always happens. It's kind of like, you are my mission, but then I fell in love with you apart from a mission. And she's like, so you didn't actually love me. He's like, not at first, but then I did, which really sounds realistic and very, very, very believable. Basically, stuff happens and they have to stop Connor from discovering Eden. Otherwise, the world will end a thousand years in the future. Pretty fun, right? I really enjoyed this book. I kind of got halfway through and I was like, what the heck am I actually reading? And then it got really interesting and I was like, there's so much tension, what is going to happen? And then it ended and I was like, oh, I'm really sad about that. But the ending is great. You will, you will like the ending if you read this book. Which I would recommend you to do because I really, as I said, enjoyed it. Um, I don't even know what this review is doing. I'm just... I don't know. <laughs> so yeah guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment what book you've read recently that you really liked, and subscribe because I want to see more of your beautiful face around this place, which rhymed because I'm a poet and I didn't even know it, but I'm also a rapper and my name is Papa because that's a type of fish and you cover it with swish sauce from the place where they also horse. Can you eat horse meat? I hope you can't. That'd be really sad. I love you all and goodbye. <laughs> My tangents just don't even make sense. They're just like, oh, let's just, I just had this idea. Let's just, whoa! Story of my life.